Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Purudhavan and today I will be sharing with you all some very important and very useful insight on what is phosphorus. With this, we will also be discussing in detail about how it increasing level can be extremely dangerous for a chronic kidney disease patient. First, I have a question for all of you. In your view, how do you think kidney works in a human body? Well, in simple language, your kidney makes sure that all the unwanted waste material in your body is thrown out at a regular intervals. Now, what do you think will happen if your kidney are not throwing out this waste? In short, the level of unwanted substance will rise automatically instead of being flushed out. This may not sound very disturbing to a lot of viewers, but Thus, there is much more to it. So now another question that I want to put across. What do you think will happen if your bone breaks with the slightest of the injury? Not a very happy thought, right? Well, phosphorus is one mineral which can make your bones brittle. Where a small injury can lead to fracture. Let me explain. As we all know that our bones are made up of a strong mineral known as calcium. It is this calcium which keeps our bone in a healthy functioning state with making sure that a small injury doesn't turn up into a big one. Now pay a little attention. For a kidney failure patient, because the kidney are not filtering out the phosphorus entering our body, there will be automatic increase in its level. This increase can be extremely worrisome as phosphorus tends to replace the calcium in our bones. This would mean that slowly and steadily, your bone will lose their strength as phosphorus is much softer as compared to the calcium thereby, making it easy for them to break. Now try and imagine what would happen if your bones lose all the calcium. Don't worry, I will certainly not let your imagination become reality. Let's move to the solution now. There are mainly two ways in which kidney patient can control the phosphorus level in the body. The easiest one is not to consume anything which has a lot of phosphorus content. Yeah, there is no rocket science behind this. Stop eating food items which are rich in phosphorus. I request all my viewers to pay attention as I have prepared an entire list of phosphorus rich food items which every kidney patient should strictly avoid. I hope you have taken a note of the list and it is my request that this should at all time be followed. One issue I see my patients usually facing is what all food items to avoid in their daily lives as the phosphorus is present in almost everything. Also, with phosphorus, there are several other essential minerals present in the food which are important for a human body. Confusing, right? Let me explain. So the first way of reducing phosphorus intake is to avoid consuming food item which contains this mineral in a high quantity. For this, I have already shared with the list of the food item that has to be avoided by a kidney failure patient. The second way to not let the phosphorus level increase in an individual is not to let it reach our bones. Yes, you heard it right. Now, I know that all of you might be wondering as to how this can be done. The method of this is also very simple. Medicines known as phosphorus binder are usually consumed by kidney failure patient before and during their meal. What this medicine does is, it does not allow phosphorus present in food to get mixed with our blood. The phosphorus exit the body through stool instead of attaching itself to the bones via bloodstream. Therefore, not letting the bones get weak. The repercussion of phosphorus level rising is not pleasant. As an individual will experience pain, which usually can be felt in bones. It becomes hard for someone to figure out whether the pain is originating from the muscles or bones. For this, let me give you a quick way with which you will be able to figure it out. Press the area which is paining in your body. If you feel that the pain is increasing while you press that area, it is originating in your bones. On the other hand, if by applying pressure and heat, you start feeling better, the pain is for sure originating in the muscles. This is a simple yet effective way that I always tell my patient to use in such situations. 
Now to prevent this reoccurring pain, it becomes essential for a kidney patient to take calcium supplement in order to keep the bones strong. With this, it is also important for calcium to stick to the bones and for that a kidney patient will also have to consume vitamin D which helps with the sticking process. A lot of things to remember, right? This is why I keep telling everyone to make small effort to keep their kidney healthy and the level of phosphorus down because trust me, no one likes to take so many medicines every day. Now let's look at the some common sign on how the body react to the increasing level of phosphorus. There will be pain in your back region initially and that can be traveled to your shin bone which is located between your knee and your ankle. This can be commonly seen throughout individuals suffering from chronic kidney disease. With pain in the shin bone usually being the first symptom of increased phosphorus level. Therefore, repeatedly tell my kidney patients to carefully judge the area where the pain is originating. If it's in the bone area, then I would advise to add phosphorus binders and calcium supplement in your diet. But remember, in order for the calcium to work, the patient will also have to add vitamin D supplements. With this, we have finally reached the end of today's video. I hope I was able to explain all my views about why we should take care of phosphorus level in an individual's body and why it is necessary for a kidney failure patient to pay extra attention if the level are high. Even after this, if you have any more question that you would want to me to answer, please free to leave your queries in the comment section so that I can respond to all of them. Thank you for your being part of this today's video and I will see you in the next time. This is Dr. Puru signing off. Take care and stay healthy.